and figures out a way to get even more eliminations. The first time we've seen them in the lobby, and of course, they're picking up eliminations. Five eliminations on the board, and they're still in it. They're still looking, they're still hunting, and except looks like he's almost the next one as TK and Pledge actually pick up the elimination. Only very few actual duos left in this lobby. Trashy went down. Pumps trying to keep it going. They have seven eliminations as a team, five as an individual. Aviv is right there with them with four eliminations. Both of these players are solos, though. This is going to be the tricky part of when you try to make your move as a solo, because we already know TK and Pledge are ready, watching with the eagle eye in the sky for anybody to try to contest them. Can anybody contest them? I know they want to, but can anybody do it? Pump as a solo player, probably not going to be able to do it, despite having the hammer in hand. As Scare, another solo player left in this, picks up the elimination onto Aviv, and now it's feeling good, feeling spicy, and looking for Pump. Oh, it's looking so good right now. Scare goes through two different individuals towards the end game, but it's death. It's Tahi or right in front. He's able to get the down onto one. Pledge and TK, this is their moment to take advantage. A 2v1 situation, but death, he gets the knock onto one. 1v1, death versus TK with everything on the line. He just has one chug splash left to use. There's no way this is happening, folks. TK had every advantage in the book, and he takes it as he walks away. Rice and Chubbs, plenty of mats to work with, going to the front side of zone, and they have that rock right in front of them to refarm as well. You call them a powerhouse duo. Kanata Age was trying to do the same, and they find Mason slipping. Huge elimination and refresh to keep themselves alive. Staying in this is Kanata and Adres as they challenge for height. Going up here, Kanata could potentially hold it, and he does. He's gonna have Igor, but no, the hammer play comes out, and him and Adres both drop down to reality as they try to hold it, and Kanata is down. I think I've seen this episode before. Reciprocal and Rise, Rise trying to hold on to the high ground. It didn't work out for him in the episode that I watched. But this is a chance for a new season. This is a chance for new life. And this is their chance. Now he's a solo. Ager's Kanata are no longer there. Pump is a solo as well. So many players living on just scraps, unable to really find that perfect moment to strike. I mean, look, they're trying to take this moment. They're trying to make this moment. But Pump still is a solo player in it, trying to do something revised on the height, still losing his teammate is big. But high ground is even bigger as Pump goes for it, knocks him down, gets him still in this game, and another shockwave play comes out. But no, Pump is down. It is a bit of a 2v2 situation here. Bryce going to get an elimination under one. It's a 2v1 now. Bryce wants to finish it. The Chubbs looking for it. And a player goes in the air to Veeam to finish it off as Chubbs walks away. The victor of game for every fight that they can take as the damage continues to come through. Rise ends up going down. Iamzo, 1 HP in a dream. Unfortunately, 4 HP is not going to do it for him as he now goes down as well. Revise, though, on the high ground, loses his teammate again. Despite them having height uh, several times, Reciprocal or Revise continues to lose a teammate in these high-pressure situations. They need to stay calm as now they've taken Acorn out. This is going to be huge. They get the Shockwave Hammer trying to get themselves right back in and right back to the top. Just enough maps to try to make the challenge happen. That's Qual looking up. He's a solo as well. A huge tag. Drop down to 50 HP. Drop down to the lobby all together. Miro is one of the last players alive. 1v1 against Revise, who's held onto the high ground through and through. I said it's only a matter of time, and that time is ticking for Revise, going against one of the best that is on the low ground. Big Bush Bomb coming off. Miro's IQ over a thousand to try to keep himself alive and in the game, but the challenge comes out. The battle is inevitable shock waving up Mira wants to end this right here right now two great shots he has to reload and it cost him everything revives throughout all this destruction huge play from him but unfortunately is going to go down to D roller as he cleans that up Fuga out Iamzo though still in it even despite losing rise here he's going to continue to play on but no he goes down as well so much is happening D roller Jackson still in this getting the elimination on to Noxie meaning they are not holding high ground anymore but for this team they need to play patient they need to play careful and they need to play together and they are the only duo remaining so playing together is the only recipe for success but Ocus has the high ground Rokane Kane slowly but surely behind Shockwave Hammer tries to contest that's for more points for Ocus and a second place guaranteed as Jackson and the Roller get the elimination. Anybody that gets trapped by this elevation is unfortunately going to go down. The one game, the one game I don't talk about the different elevations. It's probably one of the most drastic for everybody in the lobby as Rise living with 10 HP. Clips losing Donnie trying to live as a solo. Every point here means so much as we're in our final three teams with Acorn and Cold holding on to the high ground. Clips trying to cause destruction and madness, 
but he gets spotted out of position. That's cold. He has a crucial shot going for the peace control, causing everything to come crumbling down for clicks and cold. And it ends up with the last two teams remaining. I said it at the beginning of this FNCS season. I said Acorn and Cold were going to be the team to take it all, and they're doing just that. High ground. They got it. Pressure. They're doing it. And now Qua and Jack need to be careful because Acorn and Cold look to finish it quick. It's a perfect scenario for Qua and Jock, though. Players have to come down off that mountaintop. And Cold is trying to put the pressure before they're forced to drop ultimate low. Not very many builds left. Shockwave Hammer trying to bring this game to a close. Cold takes about 75 damage out of zone, in zone. He's trying to do all he can. Now it's Acorn's <laughs> turn to finish the job. 15 elimination. In and out of Storm, but Aegis still in this. No, as I say, Aegis goes down. Kanata weak here, challenging for the low ground. Will he be able to hold it down? No, struggling. He still finds himself outside of Storm, and it is all over in game number six for him. Their run has come to an end. Shadows has just begun. Five eliminations for him. Eight total as a team. They're trying to make sure this magic happens. This is one of those teams that I've seen in the early Elite Cups solidify a 1v2. Shadow himself taking out Quan Jock. Can they mimic it here? They're one of the only duos remaining on the low ground while Macwood and Threads, they have the high ground and Shadows gets knocked down. He gets sent down to the farthest you could possibly go on the low ground. 1v2 here to end the game. It's all up to Rapid with the world on his shoulder going against a team who's not only been here before, but has solidified game win after game win with high ground. It's only a matter of time. Threat's dropping down low. He wants to finish the job, but it's Macwood who seals the deal. And for our very eyes as Agers and Kanata look to close it down. Trashy and Pumpto as well. Aviv, I mean,